like? I think I'm going to try green tea mixed with lemon zinger. Two tea bags in one cup. <laughs> You're not at a rave. <laughs> So, listen, Sheldon, I was thinking, since this is going to be our first Halloween party as boyfriend and girlfriend, I thought it might be fun for us to go in a couple's costume. I couldn't agree more. Really? I find that inconsistent with everything I know about you. Oh, oh on the contrary. Yeah, couple's costumes are one of the few benefits of being in a relationship. Now, imagine this. You and I entering Stewart's party, and all eyes turn to see America's most beloved and glamorous couple. Yeah? R2-D2 and C-3PO. <laughs> Dibs on 3PO. No, Sheldon, when I said couple's costume, I meant like uh, Romeo and Juliet or Cinderella and Prince Charming, not two robots from some silly movie I don't even like. Oh, okay. <laughs> Now I'm going to let that slide because I know you're hopped up on tea bags. I make compromises for you all the time. Just this once, can't we find something that we're both happy with? Fine. How about one of the most beguiling and influential couples of the 20th century? Hewlett and Packard. <laughs> Dips on Hewlett. What, you want to be Hewlett? Anybody home? Hey, 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 what are you doing here? I just thought I'd stop by and say hello. Oh, what a nice surprise. Uh -huh. I don't think you've ever seen my lab before. Uh, no, I know, it's long overdue. <laughs> so, what you doing? Better not be building a robot girlfriend. <laughs> no, although Howard was making some real strides in that area until he met Bernadette. What, you're kidding? Nope, now the Lisa Tronic 3000 just sits in a box waiting for the phone to ring. <laughs> going on in oh, here. Oh, no, 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 don't look in there. What, is it a secret? No, it's a nitrogen laser. It'll cook your eyeball like a soft-boiled egg. Oh, might want to put a sign on it. <laughs> sign right there. Ah, uh, danger, sure. sure. <laughs> so what's, what's that? Uh, that is an integrated ion trap and time-of-flight mass spectrometer. Wow, high techy techy. <laughs> What's this little box? That is a pencil sharpener. <laughs> oh, low, techie techie. So what are you working on right now? Oh, it's actually pretty neat. Yeah? yeah. It's a front-projected holographic display combined with laser-based finger tracking. Here, I'll show you. Just put this pencil over here. Sharp, thanks to the machine we saw earlier. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> then a laser will map the reflective surface, and voila. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> you know, there's a foundational idea in string theory that the whole universe may be a hologram. What do you mean? Oh. Well, the holographic principle suggests that what we all experience every day in three dimensions may really just be information on a surface located at the farthest reaches of our cosmos. So it's possible that our lives are really just acting out a painting on the largest canvas in the universe. Hmm. Sometimes I forget how smart you are. <laughs> you should visit more often. <laughs> what are you doing? Take off your clothes. What? Here now? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Oh, no. Kind of crazy. I've never fooled around in the lab before. Really? Never? No. Nope. Well, I did have a shot with the Lisa Tronic, but the extension cord wasn't long enough. Uh. <laughs>